question deals with the position some countries can find themselves in where they have both a budget deficit and unemployment. Now, in this case, the, the budget deficit is not sustainable and something needs to be done about that. But And then you have the problem of unemployment. The question wants you to say, how can we use fiscal policy and monetary policy, given this ISLM model, to deal with these two problems? Now, a budget deficit is when the government spending exceeds taxation. And the way to decrease this deficit is either to decrease government spending or increase your taxes. So we will look at the case where we decrease government spending. Now, if government spending decreases in the economy, it causes a decline in the demand for goods and the level of output decreases. Now, in your ISLM model, this is a leftward shift of the IS curve. And as you can see, the level of output falls from output 1 to output 2. So there's now greater unemployment because you're dealing with your deficit problem. What is the role of monetary policy here? Here you will use an expansionary monetary policy because we know that if you increase the money supply, it leads to a decrease in the interest rate, which in return increases investment spending, the demand for goods, and the level of output. And that you can do by shifting the LM curve to the right, or it's done, represented by a shift of the LM curve to the right. And you can see we indeed have an increase in the level of output. So we dealt both with the deficit and the unemployment problem. Now it works in this model, but in the real world th things might be a bit different. Now this is not part of your answer, but it's something you can think of. For this monetary policy to work, you need to have a decrease in the interest rate. The money supply must cause a decrease in the interest rate. Now, under what is called a liquidity trap case, this might not happen. It's because people are hoarding money or the interest rates are already very close to zero. The other important link is the one between a decline in interest rates and an increase in investment spending. If this relationship is very weak, you might have a decrease in the interest rate, but it will not increase investment spending. And this is something you can have on a situation where you have something like the Great Recession, where this relationship is broken. And then the, the, it's not that easy to solve this twin problem of budget deficits and unemployment.